I've been the sergeant at Warrandyte since uh, 2012. What we all love about Warrandyte is the river, don't we? We all come here, we live here because uh, it's such an idyllic place. If it's not the bush, it's the river. And, uh, and you know, you look at that, everyone loves it. The dogs love it. All the log dogs go swimming and uh, it's just idyllic, isn't it? That photo was taken uh, day two of our search in October last year after we'd lost someone. And yet, how idyllic is that? The sun's out, um, it's just smooth as, but that current's going. And it was so much so that our divers, police divers, wouldn't go into the water because it was moving that quickly. So we, we look at it and we go, yes, that's, that's, uh, that's a lovely environment. We just, I guess, the, meet, the, the purpose of tonight is to inform people. But people really need to give themselves the best chance. And the first one is, can you swim confidently? Um, I was just found out tonight, actually talking to Manningham Council, that those signs that uh, you see it at the ends of all the car parks with Manningham saying, um, these are the, um, the dangers, be careful. They came, up, came about because of a fatality in 2007 where a uh, special needs person was out with his carers, swam halfway across the river, got into trouble, tried to swim back and didn't make it and the carers tried to dive in. Unfortunately, very sad, tragic situation, but nobody checked to see if he was competent in the river. Could he swim? Could he swim back? Who, who knows? I don't know. Oh, it was before my time. Um, but I also know too that in the latest ones, that has been a fact that people can swim in a pool because of pool, and we can see the bottom, and the conditions don't change. Can they swim confidently in the river? Is there someone with you that can help you if you get into trouble? And that's been another issue, is that people go into the river, and unfortunately, um, and Life Saving Victoria will give you the statistics on this, men are their own worst enemies, in that they think that they're far more capable than they really are, they go in and there's no one there keeping out an eye out for them. So if, is there someone who at least can do something, call someone, jump in, do something? Um, are you in a fit state to swim? We've just seen all those people boozing it up on the river. And that's not half the issue. Half the people getting in the river already tanked before they've got there. Um, and this isn't aimed at just Warrandyte people because we know we're getting an influx of a lot of people from all over Melbourne. You Google best swimming spots in, uh, in Melbourne and Warrandyte comes up as number one pound bed. Um, and are you familiar with current conditions? Now, you know, that, that seems like a, a, an obvious one. But most people who decide they're going to jump in a, uh, in a boat and come down from Wonga Park to, to uh, get out here at the pound and they'll meet the family down here, have no idea how long it's actually going to take them to get it. And they think it's going to be a lovely two-hour paddle, you know, and we'll, we'll film it as we go along and so forth. Invariably, we get people, kayakers, or people in, not necessarily kayakers, people who find some sort of a flotation boat or whatever, come down the river and start getting dark, and they're not even within cooey of their destination, and they have no idea where they are. It's starting to get dark on the river. They decide to get out and have no idea where they are, and then we, we're searching for them in the dark with helicopters. You know, they don't know where they are. We don't know where they are. Uh, and that's, uh, again, the last two. Uh, do you know what is under the surface? We covered that. And uh, does anyone know where you are? And that is a big one, because if nobody knows where you are, no one's looking for you, and that is a, is a big issue, especially if you get lost. And when we're doing our search back in in October for our missing swimmer, we had another incident going on up at Wonga Park where people in a kayak had flipped out, a lady had gashed her knee pretty badly, they got to the uh, side of the river to uh, call triple zero and ask for help, nobody knew where they were. They could try and ping their phone roughly, ambulance couldn't get in there because of where it was. In the end we had to put the ambulance in the back of the police car and four wheel drive in there with the SES. That was fine, we managed to find the, the lady and her partner and fix them all up and then the SES had, to put, SES had to put the canoe on the top of the car to get them out of there. 
So if you don't know where you are, you're already putting yourself behind the eight ball. So what I'm just saying with this is give yourself the best chances you have of survival. Be intelligent, learn stuff. And we're all very familiar in Warrandyte with the risks of bushfire, aren't we? We all go, we have our plan, we know what our triggers are for when we should leave, what we should stay. We've got the, uh, the uh, pump at the back to put the sprinklers on. We've got all of those things. We've got our go bag with all the, the phones, torches. Everyone is very familiar with uh, what they're going to do in an emergency, in a fire situation. Are we applying the same level of planning when we go for a trip down to the, to the river? You know, do we know where we're going? Do we know, have we told people to keep a lookout for us? Are they people expecting us? Are we in a fit condition? Now, I'm tipping that if you've got to strap Coke bottles to yourself, he's not very confident at this stage, unless he's expecting to swim into a rip or something. People jumping into the water, not knowing what's underneath the surface. And this is just... Uh, a few little tips about, you know, we, we, we prepare for so many other things, but we don't seem to give it much thought when it comes to the river. And even as recent as this year, and I'm going to finish on this, it's not boring you anymore, but uh, as recent as this, this summer, our local op shop had to remove all flotation devices from their shelves because people were just rocking up tourists and people going, what have you got that floats? I'll buy it, I'm going to the river. You know, you're not giving yourself a lot of chance there. And um, we, we've rescued many people, many people from the river just because whatever they're floating on doesn't float.